So we're a solution-based podcast. How do we fix this? Let me stop real quick. Can we talk about the age difference between like you and your leaders? Is there age difference between one people? year? Only one year? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 almost three. Would that help with any? I didn't. It's my short mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Can y'all use that? Because that right there can help. One year, nothing. Yeah. Like I don't think I had any. I, had, and I, I never really dated a, a female younger than me, like too much younger than me. Yeah, you, you were around, you were around in the basis, so I figure, you know, like yeah, no, 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 your wives, it was, it was, whatever. No. Now, you know, what advice do you have as far as that goes? You, you know, you said you're one year. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm almost three years older than my okay, wife. Okay, so yeah. now speaking to, like you said, solving a problem, right? That's what mm-hmm. we do here: cigars and whiskey. Yeah. Um, in your experience, you know, what I mean, what do you have to say as far as that goes? Is you know, age and manipulation, and you know, all of the all of the things around the basis. Using your age experience, um, I think that there should be a cap on the gap. <laughs> there should be a cap on the gap. Mm-hmm. Right? Cap on um, the gap. The consensus deeper. says that the the cap should be about seven years, right? And generally speaking, the stats show that, uh, like. 75 to 80 percent of of 85 percent of men are at least a year or so older than their wife mm. i'm one year to a one year that's it's like 85 percent of men are normally are like older than their their wives mm. right so uh men marry younger than themselves majority of the time but not big age gaps mm. i would say yo yeah, I mean, that's why they call this grooms <laughs> i would say yo bro rumors there's a fine line when you start to um when you start to date younger women and i think a woman may be like fully grown by the age of let's say 25 Mm. right i think at 25 because women are a bit, they're, they're mature than, they mature faster, faster yeah. than men. Uh-huh. And I don't think that a woman that's 25 years old, she may have a bit of life experience. She's still, she's still young, but she has some experience in her life. I'm not sure if she can be groomed. Now, when you start dipping into 21 or younger, or younger than 21, you might be dipping your toe in the trouble waters. Mm-hmm. And you could be, it could be manipulation or grooming because, all right, so so a lot of older men feel like these younger women, it might not be based on like sex or anything like that, but they feel invigorated. They give the like, younger people, give them a sense of purpose and excitement in their life. There's a reason why it happens. There's a reason why it happens. Like, like you're trying to say like it's mental. Yeah. A older man wants a younger woman because a he could afford to circumvent that age gap gap, you know, and you know, b it makes him feel better. But a woman has a better sense of sec- of security with a man with more resources. It's it's the natural part of life. Like I, women tend to gravitate towards men who could provide for them a little bit more. I agree with that. But what what I was saying is that. A 19-year-old mm. is not that sophisticated she's not. to be thinking about stability in life and marriage and who's going to take in the care of her world, for the rest man. of her life. That's where her parents should be kind of but, but it, hovering a little bit more a and they should have an open right. com, you know, communication but with her. It's also a vibration thing to where, okay, maybe they may not be as sophisticated to say that I'm in this for stability or you know financial you know wellness or whatever but there is a magnetism that keeps them stuck there like they don't know why they're there but they're there mm-hmm. but that ride in the s550 feel better yeah, than the honda you know what i'm saying so because that is because that is repre- representative a representing of stability of comfort of right so yeah you know it, they can't maybe put a thing they're at this space where they may not be able to put a finger on it, but this feels like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It feels right. Being able to get picked up and going to get taken to eat and going, right? You got you yeah. guys keep talking about money. That'll get them there. 
That won't make them stay though. No, but what I'm, oh, I'm just saying about that, that it's not. You're you know. trying to get them there, right? So <laughs> what I'm, what I'm, all I'm saying is that usually to make them stay, you got to do a little extra. If it, it may be manipulation, it may be certain tactics that we be watched done. that, didn't we? I don't think we, we reacted to. It. Remember that that interview with that young lady that that you sent me to watch, and she was dating an older man, and she kind of broke up with him because they didn't have any chemistry. Yeah. But what got her was the bread, right? She was, she was, she was, she was older, but he was older, older. Yeah. And she was showing him an apartment, right? Yes. And, you know, she said that she enjoyed the stability of being with him, but she didn't. She, she wasn't attracted. She, to she wasn't attracted to him. Mm -hmm. But they were in a four or five year um, relationship, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what's the difference? You she know, wound up leaving though. All right. He got what he wanted. What do you mean he got what he wanted? He got to be with a young, he could buy another one. Bro. Uh, <laughs> Everybody's for sale, bro. Everybody's for sale, man. Uh, ain't nobody man, really looking for love. Man, democracy, I mean, capitalism, capitalism. Capitalism, capitalism. Value for value, yo. Yeah.